for me, it's always about taking him out of his comfort zone and trying to show audiences something that they haven't seen before. You know, and we've seen a lot of Spider-Man swinging around uh, New York City, so to get him out, not just of New York City, but to get him out of the United States and take him on this crazy European tour, just felt like it would be, um, be something fun to watch. This movie is about Spider-Man going from being a friendly neighborhood hero and suddenly being forced out onto the world stage. So to have him be, uh, be in Europe mirror that in, in a way that I thought was interesting. Dealing with the fallout from Endgame, I mean, Peter's in this situation where he's, he's lost his mentor, he's disappeared and then come back five years later. Like, everything is kind of crazy, but what I think is so endearing is that despite all that, the thing that he's focused on at the very beginning of the movie is going on this class trip and telling MJ how he feels. So there's something kind of sweet about that. It is a really fun development process as someone who knew all the things that were going to happen in Infinity War and in Endgame to be writing the movie concurrently as those are being shot and edited. So, you know, they were doing all these crazy things and then I, it was my job to figure out a way to explain them and see how they were going to affect, affect my world. There's kind of two types of Spider-Man villains in the comics. There's uh, characters that he has a personal relationship with that makes fighting him fighting them difficult and then there are characters who just challenge him physically in a way um, that make things difficult for him and when he's fighting these things that are essentially natural disasters you know it, it's you can't do much with webs when you're fighting water and when you're fighting fire it's uh, it was just a good challenge I felt for him Jake's great. I mean, he brings so much to the role, and he's so smart, and he can do anything. So, uh, yeah, it was like an absolute joy cracking this character together. To be able to just draw from this extremely rich library of films and just pick your favorite characters and put them all together and see what happens, you know, you just feel like, um, you know, it's like a fan's dream come to life. Hi guys, here's today's daily fact. The founder of Marvel Comics, Stan Lee, was famous for making a cameo appearance in every Marvel film. When it came to 2018 and to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, because all the animators want to animate his character, if you pause the film in any train scene, you will see him riding it. Remember to click here below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.